mindfulness as an antidote to FOMO, living in the present. In a world where distractions are constant and social media floods us with images of what others are doing, FOMO fear of missing out has become a widespread issue. We are often caught up in worrying about what we don't have, what others are doing, or what we might be missing. This constant comparison and sense of lack can pull us out of the present moment, making it hard to appreciate our lives as they are. But there's a powerful tool that can help counter this tendency, mindfulness. What is mindfulness? Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present in the here and now, without judgment. It involves paying attention to our thoughts, emotions, and surroundings with a sense of curiosity and acceptance. Instead of letting our minds race ahead to the future or dwell on the past, mindfulness encourages us to focus on what's happening right now. For people struggling with FOMO, mindfulness offers an antidote to the constant comparison and dissatisfaction that fuels this fear. When we practice mindfulness, we learn to observe our thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. This helps us become more aware of how often we are distracted by thoughts of what others are doing or what we think we should be doing. FOMO and the mind's restlessness. One of the main drivers of FOMO is the mind's tendency to wander. We often feel restless, always seeking something more exciting, more fulfilling, or more impressive than what we have right now. This restlessness is amplified by social media, where we can see a curated version of other people's lives, giving the illusion that they are always doing something better, more meaningful, or more successful than we are. Mindfulness helps quiet this restlessness by teaching us to appreciate the present moment. When we focus on what we're doing right now, whether it's enjoying a meal, spending time with loved ones, or simply taking a deep breath, we realize that life is full of moments to be savored. The more we cultivate this sense of presence, the less we are driven by the fear of missing out. Living in the present, FOMO thrives on the idea that happiness is always somewhere else at the next event, in someone else's life, or in a future achievement. But mindfulness reminds us that happiness is found in the present moment. When we are truly present, we can find joy in even the simplest things, a walk in nature, a conversation with a friend, or the warmth of the sun on our skin. By practicing mindfulness, we train ourselves to stop chasing after what we think will make us happy in the future and instead learn to appreciate what we have right now. This shift in focus allows us to break free from the constant cycle of longing and dissatisfaction that FOMO creates. Acceptance and letting go, mindfulness also teaches us the value of acceptance. Part of the reason FOMO is so powerful is that it plays on our desire for control. We want to be part of every event, seize every opportunity, and make sure we don't miss anything important. But the reality is that we can't do everything and trying to keep up with everyone else's life only leads to exhaustion and frustration. Through mindfulness, we learn to accept that life is full of choices and that it's okay to miss out on some things. We can't be everywhere or do everything, and that's perfectly fine. Instead of focusing on what we're missing, mindfulness encourages us to be grateful for what we have and to let go of the need to constantly be in the know. This acceptance allows us to experience more contentment and peace. We begin to trust that what we're doing now is enough and that we don't need to compare ourselves to others to feel fulfilled. Reframing FOMO as JOMO, mindfulness also helps us reframe FOMO as JOMO the joy of missing out. Rather than seeing the things we're not doing as missed opportunities, we can view them as space for more meaningful experiences. JOMO is about embracing the present moment and finding joy in the choices we make, rather than being anxious about what we might be missing. With mindfulness, we start to realize that by saying no to certain things, we are saying yes to others whether that's more time for rest, deeper relationships, or personal growth. This shift in perspective helps us focus on what truly matters, 
rather than being pulled in all directions by the fear of missing out. Mindful practices to combat FOMO. Incorporating mindfulness into daily life doesn't have to be complicated. Here are a few simple practices to help combat FOMO. 1. Mindful breathing. Take a few moments throughout the day to focus on your breath. This can help ground you in the present moment and bring a sense of calm. 2. Gratitude journaling. Write down three things you are grateful for each day. This helps shift your focus from what you're missing to what you have. 3. Single tasking. Instead of multitasking, try focusing on one activity at a time. Whether it's eating, walking, or working, give it your full attention. 4. Digital, digital Detox Set aside specific times to disconnect from social media. This can help reduce the constant comparison that feeds FOMO. 5. Body Skin Meditation Take a few minutes to check in with your body, noticing any areas of tension or discomfort. This practice helps you connect with your physical experience in the present. Conclusion FOMO may be a product of our fast-paced, comparison-driven society, but mindfulness offers a powerful remedy. By bringing our attention back to the present moment and learning to accept life as it is, we can break free from the constant fear of missing out. Mindfulness encourages us to appreciate what we have, live in the here and now, and let go of the need to always be chasing after something more. In doing so, we not only overcome FOMO, but also discover a deeper sense of peace and fulfillment in everyday life. The background music is from Defomo, Stunning Music, Stunning Nature, Fighting Anxiety. You can find it in my YouTube channel. My name is Weeping Kai. Thanks for watching.